Hey YouTube, DRS2100 here. Now I know I said the next video I'm going to do is on making my Tesla turbine, but I thought I'd uh, show you this quick uh, video of an EDM I made. Uh, this is an electrical discharge machining device I made out of a solenoid and uh, made a little electrode there. <clears throat> anyway, the uh, way it works is you've got supply coming in. In this case it's uh, 24 volt, uh, 1.8 amp coming in. Supply goes to one end of the coil, comes out of the coil, and uh, grounds out to the electrode. And the ground itself is actually on the, the workpiece, uh, over there in this case. And uh, what it does is every time the electrode makes contact with the part, uh, it forces the uh, coil to magnetize, pulls the uh, solenoid or the electrode back maintaining a spark gap. Uh, this allows you to electrochemically erode uh, materials so you can work with really hard materials like you can bore a hole through tungsten, uh, you can bore, like you can cut razors in half, stuff like that. Uh, in this case I've got a really hard uh, plug here that I gotta punch a hole through to uh, make an oil gallery. Um, but yeah, so uh, what, what I'm doing here is uh, just going to leave this guy and it's going to electrochemically erode the, uh, the uh, work. And every once in a while you want to throw a little bit of oil or something in there just to, uh, you know, kind of uh, wash the swarf out. Because there's still swarf uh, just in the form of carbon deposits rather than actual metal. Uh, because it does uh, break down uh, the metal at a molecular level, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it seems to work quite effectively, and this is something you can make at home. I mean, all you need is a solenoid and uh, an electrode, and uh, a little bit of patience, I guess. And maybe an old desk lamp from the 80s, if you remember those, right? Anyway, just thought I'd show you how this works, and this is going to take a while yet, right? Yeah, I know it's not perfectly centered, but... Uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be. It's just an oil drain. I can actually even move it over a little bit, seeing as we haven't really gotten too far into the process. But yeah, that's another thing. It uh, it will always bore larger than the diameter of the electrode. So if you're doing something precise, uh, just bear that in mind. Like I say, this isn't precise, but. Another thing, uh, if you cut an outline of a shape that you're turning on a lathe, say for example, uh, you can actually uh, EDM uh, that part uh, based on, uh, you know, uh, a profile, like a hemispherical profile kind of thing, and then you just turn the part and EDM it away. Um, but yeah, that's a very popular uh, system for aviation. Uh, they use a lot of uh, EDM created parts there. There's wire EDM. This this is called small hole EDM for obvious reasons. But uh, they use small hole EDM for making, uh, you know, a lot of precise parts uh, using a lot of precise dies that have to be machined first. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty uh, easy setup for punching through heavy materials. And if you need like really fine holes, then it'll make a drill bit that small, you know. I mean, I've uh, used it for that. In fact, we're using it for that here. But yeah, by tomorrow, I'll probably have a hole through there. Nice clean one too, with no burrs and uh, etc. But yeah, very neat. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you that. Thanks. Bye.